Friends, welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. In this video, we are going to see an unedited recording of management of a soft cataract. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome at around 11 o'clock. And now, this is phenocaine because the patient is under topical anesthesia and this is visco filling up the anterior chamber and it is applied over the corneal epithelium for better visibility. This is a side port on the left side of the main incision about 3 clock hours away. And now, now is the time to do capsulorexis. This is a utrita forceps. The anti-capsule is torn at the center, a capsular tag is raised, this capsular tag is guided anti-clockwise all around to get an adequate size trexis of about 5.5 millimeter. And now, hydro dissection. The patient is diabetic and in such cases the lens fibers are sticky. It means the fibers resist separation. And now this is a pre-chopper designed by Dr. Sohil Irfan Khan and this pre-chopper works nicely in my hand and I could divide the nucleus to two halves and on hemineucleus has been divided into two fragments. So we have got three pieces. And now is the time to introduce the FECO handpiece. The FECO needle goes in with its paper down. Some superficial lens matter is removed and then one piece is picked up and emulsified then the other piece. And now I come to the other hemineucleus and I start emulsifying the hemineucleus from one side and it gets removed in no time. And this is the last portion of the nucleus and this is the last bit of the nucleus and the nucleus is nicely managed. This kind of cataract, so the lens fibers are sticky, where we cannot chop the nucleus into two pieces, where even stop and chop technique is difficult. This pre chopper helps a lot. And this is an unedited recording, and it, you could see that in a very short time we could manage the nucleus. The cortex is being removed by this Simco cannula. And now is the time to implant an intraocular lens. I am going to use a B cartridge. So I am enlarge the main wound a little bit. Main wound which was about 2.8 millimeter becomes about 3 millimeter now. And this is hydro implantation of a single piece monofocal intraocular lens. In this case the lens did not go into the capsular bag. So I am using the irrigating probe to place the trailing haptic first in the capsular bag. Then I go through the side port and then place the leading haptic in the capsular bag. Now the lens is in the capsular bag and you can see that the lens is nicely overlapped all around by the erexis anticapsular rim. A thin rim of anticapsule is overlapping the optic. This is good. It prevents decentration and tilting of the optic of the 
intraocular lenses. The antechamber is nicely formed now and then the integrity of the wounds are checked and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.